Hi everyone, I'm John from Bijou Gardening Services um, and today we're going to have a look at the Still HLA 86. Still HLA 86, okay. So this uh, particular product, I've had it since November. It's now September the following year, so just under a year. Obviously it's got a bit of dirt on it, but um, as you can see, um, it's a telescopic hedge trimmer. So telescopic meaning, obviously it can extend uh, to a high length. Um, and in addition to that, today I've got the AP300, um, both made by Still. So on the HLA86, we've got the uh, the loop, the shoulder loop to, to uh, reduce the, the fatigue uh, from your arms. So here you can see we've got the, the guard on. Um, it's got the tip protector here on the end um, to, to protect the blades. These blades are obviously quite dirty because they've been in use on a regular basis. Um, I tend to use uh, a spray on these um, before and after each use um, and, and during cutting as well. Um, if the blades start to stick. Um, I, as I mentioned, I bought this in November. In April this year, um, I've had to replace uh, one of the... Um, bolts um, with the washer um, just because obviously that that became loose in someone's garden okay it's fairly uh, lightweight machine um, however obviously after uh, using it for some time your arms are going to fatigue so you'd normally be using the strap now um, in this instance obviously the blade is currently in its uh, storage position um, however all you need to do is pull down this black handle here and it starts to obviously empower you to, to, to rotate it. There's several different positions um, that you can lock it into. So um, that seems to, to, to be um, obviously the, uh, the furthest I can go with it. Um, but subsequently I can clip it into a number of different notches um, at different positions, depending on what you're, you're trying to achieve. Um, within here, I can see the air filter. Um, You've also got, um, as I mentioned before, the telescopic um, element of it, which saves you getting onto a ladder and therefore in a, in a far safer position being on the, the, the ground as an operator. Um, so you effectively are going to uh, rotate this in an anticlockwise fa anti fashion um, and then you can extend um, the telescopic nature of it um, and lock it off. I suggest you go online to find out um, the, uh, the extent that it can extend um, but uh, I would say roughly um, you, you're probably looking uh, at uh, a further few uh, foot on top of that so in total I'm standing here I'm just shy of six foot um, and uh, I could probably say it exceeds uh, 12 um, based on obviously the, the, uh, the position of the operator there. Okay so to operate uh, again we've got a safety switch here on the, the, uh, the top there, I think it's called a dead man switch. Um, I'm gonna engage that with my thumb and then I'm gonna press the top and the bottom lever um, at the same time. So now that I've uh, engaged the dead man switch, that is actually holding it in place when I'm pressing these buttons. I'm not having to hold that thumb um, in there as well. Um, but uh, the, the, uh, as soon as I let go of that clasp, it will lock off and then subsequently, um, obviously the, uh, the head trim will stop um, so if you're in a precarious position and for whatever reason um, you let go of the hedge trimmer um, obviously it's going to uh, prevent you causing uh, serious injury to yourself um, or others um, by uh, having that switch in place. Um, same again with many of the, uh, the latest still uh, professional equipment it's ambidextrous which is fantastic news for individuals similar to myself that are left-handed um, and uh, like the comfort of being able to swap hands as well during a working day um, to reduce fatigue. What particularly attracted me to the still uh, battery range um, was the opportunity to invest in my health. Um, so um, I don't necessarily have any ailments at the moment, um, but the amount of vibrations that the petrol gear um, and the, the fumes uh, that they gave off um, was noticeable. Um, and um, as I say, I'm a fit, healthy individual at the moment. Um, and I, I plan to keep it that way uh, for as long as I can. Okay, so the HLA86, um, this time I'm gonna obviously insert the still AP300 
300 battery um, actually with the hedge trimmers they do really well with the uh, the steel batteries they tend to last quite well um, I've got a larger battery as well um, that I love to, to, to also uh, use with this uh, particular item so just slotting it in the back pushing it in to, to, to make sure it's fully engaged to, to, to disengage uh, the battery I'm just going to click these two orange buttons there's one either side of the machine at the same time and it can slot out straight away um, I'm in a routine of at the end of a working day bringing the batteries into the house getting them on charge and storing them um, in quite a neutral uh, temperature um, so not right next to the radiators not right next to an exterior wall or in a garage uh, where the temperature is going to fluctuate Okay, so as I said before, I'm going to engage the dead man uh, button, the top button, and then squeeze. Okay, so that's enough of me rambling on about the still HLA86. Um, I'm now going to show you uh, it in use in a garden. Um, this uh, particular client um, was the first time of me maintaining the hedges. Um, they're predominantly conifer, Leylandi, um, and um, there's various uh, kind of um, quality of the workmanship that's been done previously on it. Uh, there's definitely some some gaps um, in the uh, the hedgerow where perhaps it's been taken a bit too deep or there's a bit of disease. Um, however, um, you'll notice that I initially start with the bevel um, then the sides um, and then work on the, the, the top um, and you'll see the finished result um, at the end so that's the HLA 86 thanks for watching do leave comments uh, below um, on your experience of battery uh, powered or petrol gear um, I'm not a full convert I must say I've still got uh, petrol in my arsenal um, I'm very much a hybrid and I like the benefit of both engaging with the the, uh, the tools of the future whilst also working with the tools that we have available to us today.
So that concludes uh, the end of this garden. Um, it's been a, a baking hot day um, of using the Still HLA 86. Um, I've had the pleasure of doing both this garden and next door's garden. Um, so both sides of the hedges um, for two different clients. Okay, thanks for watching. Do leave a comment uh, below and uh, like and subscribe to the video. Bye for now.